Welcome, Master Takers. How are you on today? I'm so excited that you are here with me for this budget better challenge. And I can't wait to get started. Are you ready for this budget better challenge? Are you ready to understand how to budget your money so that you can make the right investments? Are you ready? I am so excited. I hope you are excited with me. I'm excited that you join me on today. I'm excited that you are, even if you're watching the replay, I am excited uh, that you are here and you, I'll be more excited if you engage in the comment section. I'm excited. And this is what I'm about. If we have not met, my name is Coach LJ and I'm your supportive friend. I love supporting people who are motivated to improve their lives by realizing and releasing themselves from fear and helping them begin to take action. And this is why we call our stuff Action Takers because this is all what we're about. We're about taking action at the next opportunity window. Uh, no waiting on the sidelines anymore. No waiting for nets and uh, my turn. No, we're about getting the tools the, the learning the different strategies so that we can begin to take action in our life and be productive. And then also taking advantage of different opportunities that comes our way. Which coin, where that coin, the, the community is next opportunity window. Because guess what? They are, there will be next opportunity windows for you to invest, to, to learn more, to, to, to gain more resources, to learn different tools, whatever it is that 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 it will be for you to to help you achieve your goals, there will be opportunities, and so we just want to be ready. And this is why we come here so that we can learn and build the confidence and the and the motivation to begin to take action. And so before we begin, let's all take a moment to introduce ourselves in the comments below and share a little bit about what made us decide to sign up for this resource. Please also feel free to share any specific goals you wish to achieve, lessons you recently learned, or questions you hope to get answered. Today, we're going to talk about the four walls of spending food, shelter, healthcare, and basis like utilities, childcare, and transportation. Let's get started. Food, while there's nothing wrong with enjoying a good meal, overspending on food can be a problem. If you already have a tough time sticking to your budget or you're going into credit card debt from partaking in restaurant meals. The average American household spends almost 300 monthly on takeout, fast food, vending machines, delivery, and food trucks. While this exact number varies based on location and other factors, it's pretty common for Americans to spend at least 10% of their income on food alone. I know there's a lot of options, and this is why we have um, health challenges, obesity, uh, 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 obesity uh, high, high blood pressure, heart failure, all the different diseases because of the different but various of food that we have available at our disposal. And so we want to learn how to um, manage and budget for um, our food. Uh, shelter. Most experts, including the United States federal government, recommend that you shouldn't spend more than 30% of your gross monthly income on rent. Take, in, take this into consideration when it's time to extend your rent lease. 
healthcare. Almost half of all Americans live with some sort of chronic condition, many of which require monthly spending for medication, supplies, and co-payment for appointments with medical professionals. Take note that all nonprofit hospitals in the United States are required to offer financial assistance programs. So make sure to ask about them. If you're in a position where current expenses is straining your finances, now other bases, utilities like water, electricity, Wi-Fi, gas, childcare, and transportation are basic necessities that you must factor into monthly spending. Today's challenge is to look at your bank statements, receipts, and credit card statements from the last three months to identify where your money is going and how much you allot each of these prioritized categories. Once you take a look, come back to the group to share at least one thing that surprised you about your spending happens. Many people spend their money is something that just happens and feels as though it's out of our control. That's why today we're going to talk about all those miscellaneous purchases that could be playing a big role in pushing you over the edge with your spending. These miscellaneous costs may include coffee, alcoholic beverages, snacks, takeouts, restaurant meals, clothes, shoes, and accessories, unused or underused subscriptions to streaming platforms, music libraries, monthly memberships, etc., gym membership, houseware and home goods, gifts for others, unessential technology or appliances, Toys for children, for your children or pets. Cosmetics appointments or procedures. Salon visits. Cosmetic filters. Other cosmetic treatments. Today's challenge is to look over your last three months of spending and calculate how much you spend on miscellaneous items and purchases that you cannot justify Capitalizing as essential. Share what miscellaneous spending you could be cutting back on. While debit and credit cards can be extremely useful tools to utilize in daily life, they also make it easier to spend money that you shouldn't be spending. One way to overcome this bad habit is to adapt something called the envelope method. The envelope method is a money tracking system more than 100 years old and works by dividing discriminatory spending into envelopes by category. One envelope might be used for eating out, another for groceries, another for clothing, and one for petty cash. And I like to throw in one as well. I would say investments. I believe you got to have one for investments or even savings. I say you can uh, take out maybe the clothing, um, but definitely you want to put in the investments and the savings because you want to have an envelope uh, for your savings and your investments. And I'm going to say tithing. Uh, so instead of having uh, these, uh, you, so you have these envelopes, but you want to have something for uh, investments savings, and tithing, because you want to give back uh, on 10% to, uh, to the Lord, the one that gave us the ability to work and to perform uh, with, with our gift. So you want to be able to give back 10% to your local church uh, so that you, 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 you pay respect and you follow the principles of tithing or sowing and weeping. And then miscellaneous spending. 
But again, this system isn't meant to be used for paying bills, but rather for purchases that you would otherwise use your debit card for. This method ensures that you stay on track with your budget and also helps visually represents how much cash you have on hand to spend. There's just one rule, no borrowing from other envelopes. Today's challenge is to utilize the envelope method on your next shopping trip to the grocery store, big box store, or a day out with friends. Report back to let the rest of us know how it went for you. Now, if you're looking for new insights and perspectives on personal growth, career development, and finding your next opportunity, then be sure to subscribe to the Next Opportunity window on YouTube. Our channel is dedicated to sharing actionable tips and strategies that can help you overcome challenges, build new skills, and achieve your goals. By subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell notification. Now, according to the Modern Wealth Survey from Charles Schwartz, FOMO fuels American spending. The report details that more than one third of Americans admit that their spending habits are influenced by the images and experiences they see their friends sharing on social media. This fear of missing out, which is an acronym for FOMO, and desire to keep up with what we see our peers doing has the unfortunate consequence of pushing many Americans to their financial extremes. With this information in mind, today's challenge is to think about how you influence by what you see on social media or by the way your friends spend their money. Does seeing your friend on a beach vacation makes you more likely to mass out your credit card on an upcoming trip, even though you still got a debt to pay off from last month credit card balance? Does the hairstyle you see your favorite celebrity wearing push you to make an appointment with a top stylist despite just scratching enough cash together last month to cover your car insurance bill? Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. Today, we're talking about budget grocery shopping. And I'm not talking about stocking up on Roman. You know, Roman noodles. <laughs> I remember that. I grew up on Roman noodles. We used to be able to, we used to eat Roman's noodles, breakfast, lunch, and dinner sometimes growing up. But we're not talking about Roman noodles. It is, in fact, possible to feed yourself healthy, wholesome, and delicious meals on a budget. Or it takes is some planning up front. First, come up with a meal plan that you can easily stick to. This might mean dedicating a specific day of the week to a specific meal like lasagna Mondays, taco Tuesdays, pizza Wednesdays, burger Thursdays, and stir fry Fridays. Make sure you pick foods that you actually enjoy eating and that you actually have the time and ability to put together. If, uh, veggie, Reggie Mondays, uh, whatever, Reggie Saturdays, you know, soul food Sundays, but whatever it is, if uh, smoothie, uh, whatever it is, you, you make sure you put these things together. I know me and my wife, we meal plan uh, weekly to, to be able to not just be on budget, but also to eat healthy. So we buy organic food, but we uh, but we plan so that we can continue to maintain eating right and eating healthy. So put something together. And so next, take stock of what you have at home 
and keep track of things you about to run out of them. Basic items might include bread, eggs, pasta, beans, tomato sauce, milk, fruits, veggies, flour, sugar, coffee, peanut butter, or whatever else you and your household consume on a regular basis. Make sure to bring this list to the store with you and try not to divert from it. Lastly, stay up to date with your chosen stores circulars and sell patterns. Weekly ads typically are released on Wednesdays, so browse through what's on sale and plan your meals accordingly. Also, look at the circulars for stores that you don't normally shop at. Many people have preconceived notions about certain chains of grocery stores, but in reality, Shopping at a store you might have once turned your nose up at could save you hundreds of dollars. Today's challenge is to make a list of your upcoming week's meals and stick to it when you go grocery shopping. Don't buy anything that's not on that list. Another tip I always share with my clients is to never go to the grocery store hungry. You buy more than you need and probably end up buying more unhealthy foods too. And I know that's right <laughs> because I'm one. If, if, if I go somewhere and I'm hungry and I see something that I want, that I like, I'm going to want it. <laughs> I'm going to say, it's okay. I treat myself for today. So it's very important that, you know, when you go to the store, Go full so that, you know, you won't be um, tested with foods that you may see that you like inside the store or driving by. So go full. Um, don't go hungry. Today's challenge is to spend some time thinking about the future you. Write down three or four things you want to accomplish in the next five or ten years. This may include... Things like home ownership, starting a family, or starting your own business. Write down two things you want to accomplish in the next year in regard to your finances. This may include things like paying off your debt, building an emergency fund, which is critical. It's very important to build an emergency fund because you never know uh, things happen. We get in a crisis. The stock market goes bad and you lose your job and you might get, you might be out of a job for six months or a year. And so with that, with the emergency fund, what it do is it, 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 it keeps you, um, it keeps you together, you know, when you don't have to stress out to pay your bills because what, what is emergency fund? Emergency fund is uh, your savings, but you're saving your expenses. So if most people say six months, so you're saving six months of your expenses inside of a, a emergency fund, inside of a savings account that accumulates some interest. And I advise you to go to a good savings account because they do got FDIC banks that do that that give you some good interest more than zero point zero 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 two. So you want to go to a good uh, savings account that have uh, high earning interest uh, so that you're able to build up your savings account, your emergency fund, uh, your emergency fund, so that if anything happens, God forbid, if anything happens, you won't have to be stressed out because your, your emergency fund will, 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 uh, will take care of your expenses for those months that you are not working. So definitely, build an emergency, you might want to be, uh, build an emergency fund or you might want to start a new job. Write down one thing you want to accomplish in the next month. This may be saving a certain amount of money or to stop using your credit cards completely. Share any thoughts or ideas that come up while you're doing this exercise with the group. What do you consider yourself tech savvy? 
or not. There are many ways that technology can help you gain more control over your money. Today, we'll be discussing some of the ways you can utilize tech to work for your budgeting needs. Download a saving app, whether you're saving up for retirement or an upcoming vacation. There's an app out there that can help you. Many work by routing up data amounts that you spend and automatically putting the remaining mic mic micro payments into your savings. For example, if you spend four dollars and twenty five cent on a latte, that resident seventy five cent will be deposited into your savings account. Automate your payments, putting your mortgage, rent payment, car payment, insurance, and other necessities means that you don't have to keep track of due dates or remember to make online payments. Check and see what payments you can make automatically. Today's challenge is to spend some time searching for bank saving technology and share at least one app with the group. I'm going to share one um, that I use that helps me save money and round up the cost uh, is Acom. Acom is a great tool to use if you're trying to save money, uh, if you're trying to save for your retirement, you know, you can just, you, know, you could and you can start with the $5. Hours. You can start with saving $5 a week uh, Ten dollars a week, whatever you can start saving with Acorn, and and like I said, five dollars is not much. It's just coming out your your bank account every week. You don't miss it, and before you know it, five years, ten years from now, you accumulate it a, a, a good bit amount of money because it's compound interest. They do uh, invest the money into the market, so it's compound interest. So whatever you put in there is basically like double. It's, it it triples because as you keep, as the money keeps growing, it compounds their interest uh, depending on the market rate of the stock market. So, Acon is a good way um, to get started. And guess what? I will put my uh, my my link inside of the description uh, for you to use, so that we both also, if you use my link, we both would get a bonus for uh, for for you for you taking uh i believe you will get one i know i will get one but i believe you will also get uh uh uh, uh something for using acorn for for signing up with them so definitely use acorn take advantage help me out uh, uh if you appreciate this content i will put the link inside the inside the description i will put the link in the comment so that you can take advantage of this acorn app and so that we both can win and you, I can uh, receive some commission as well as you can start saving, um, saving for your retirement or saving for leisure or whatever, you know, saving for um, some investments, whatever it may be, you can take advantage of the Acon app. Before you spend top dollar on a brand new piece of furniture, household item or piece of clothing, Check and see what your local thrift store has to offer. Regular thrifters can attest to the high of finding a fabulous deal or a hidden gem. Many thrifters share that the items they find at stores are actually better quality than the cheaply made new ones found at a traditional big box store. This makes sense. Because if a piece has withstood one person's ownership and may sit back to the shelf, it must be pretty well made. Not only will you likely save yourself a ton of money, but you'll also be partake, participating in reducing waste, reusing materials, and recycling perfilling. Useful items, all the while you'll be supporting nonprofit organizations that help people in your community. Today's challenge is to plan a trip 
to a thrift store or a consignment shop and post a picture here of something fun, useful, or surprising that you found. Fine. Cooking your meals at home proves to be less expensive and healthier than eating out. But time often stands in the way. I know. Especially when you're in the busy, you, you're always busy. Uh, you just started out, maybe you just started a busy business, uh, a side hustle. And so guess what? You got a lot to do. Uh, so it's easier just to eat out. But making a delivery meal or take out all the more common today, we will be discussing some money saving tips you can bring into your kitchen. Buy produce that's in season. Springing for fresh blueberries in November or Brussels sprouts in July will leave you with more money spent and less delicious meal products. Plan your shopper around what's in season in your local area and watch your savings stacks up. Turn right fruits and vegetables into smoothies or sours or your strawberry starting or to wrinkle. Is that red pepper looking a little sad? Is that bag of spinach looking like it's on its last leg? Pop fruits and veggies into your freezer. Plant a soup or smoothie to use them within the coming week. Don't buy pre-cut fruits or produce unless you physically have trouble handling a knife. Buying a pre-cut produce is not a good way to spend your money. Whenever possible, cut it up yourself and use that opportunity to improve your knife skills. Today's challenge is to scout out your own money saving meal tip and share it with the group. Are you a name brand snob? If so, it's time to jump on the Geneva brand bandwagon. And the United States or FDA approved Geneva brand medicines are required to work the same as brand name medicine when it comes to doses, safety, effectiveness, strength, stability, and quality. For everything else, a quick scan of the ingredients list will prove that name brand and Geneva brand products share most, if not all, of the same ingredients. Really, the only thing that's different is that marketing costs are much lower for in-house products, which means that the retailer can charge a little price, a little lower price point. If you if you pick if you really 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 picky about aesthetics or worry that your family might not enjoy using or consuming Geneva brand foods, try repackaging them in glass jars, plastic cereal containers or some other types of canisters. No one would know the difference. <laughs> no one would know the difference. You gotta learn, we gotta learn how to be creative in order to be smart. And this is what we're doing. We're being smart. We're smart, not harder. And so this is what we're doing when we're doing things like that. They won't know the difference because it all looks the same. So today's challenge is to pick up a Geneva version of something you typically purchase of a brand name and see if you can tell the difference. Even if you can, is the difference so large that it's worth the extra cost? Share your findings with the group. Whether it's a bonus from work, a birthday check, or an extra 20 you found in an old pair of jeans, Determining how you spend extra income will play a big role in building and maintaining healthy spending habits. One of the major things 
to keep in mind thinking rethinking about extra money is remembering that even the smallest amount of money add up this means changing your mindset to think of money as something to save rather than something to spend the concept of extra will come up as you creating your budget you might find that you have an extra 20 dollars left over in your grocery spending budget or an extra 60 dollars from skipping out on a month's worth of dinner out with friends when this happens making the active choice of saving that money instead of spending it will be critical in building better habits today's challenge is to take another look at your monthly budget see where you can save and move that cash over to savings so that eventually you're going to put into use into an investment or training or course or whatever you know whatever you can do to help you maximize your life and your growth but you're going to move the extra into your savings so that it will be there so that way when an opportunity comes your way you can take advantage of it and you can also use the money uh for for things that you would like to do in the future or to invest into into a, a business or into something that you need that's can help you grow your business um and also connect even to join this community because like i said this is also a course but you could use the extra money because i believe i hope you believe that this course this this community is valuable and so i believe it's 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 essential to be a part of this community and so whenever you can save to 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 be able to uh to keep the essentials that will be helpful to you because you get easy um uh, say you know what i can't do it no more and i understand that uh so i got to but we want to be able to uh determine the thing that's valuable the thing that are essential and the thing that are not essential into different buckets so yeah we can move the cash over to savings to use for a future date that we want to uh, use it for i have a question for you are you tired of navigating the challenge on your own do you wish you have a community of like-minded individuals to help support you on your journey to help you discover your grit and build the courage to take action look no further than the next opportunity when the community our community is made up of individuals who are committed to personal growth career development and finding their next opportunity by joining our community you have access to a supported network of individuals who share your goals and aspirations but don't just take our word for it as Zig Ziglar once said you can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want by joining our community you have access to the latest tools resources strategies for success to help you win to help you budget to help you get ahead in life and this is why i believe that this community is valuable and it's essential for you because we help you to 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 win to have success to maximize your life or while connecting with others who share your vision for the future that's the extra bonus it's priceless because you're able to connect with other people who share your values your vision for the future as a member of our community you have access to a wealth of knowledge resources and support from like-minded individuals who are committed to personal professional growth we offer a variety of engagement opportunities including the lunch and learns webinars mastermind sessions and challenges or designed to help you maximize your potential and achieve 
your goals. So don't wait any longer. Join our community today and start your journey towards success. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself and begin to boost your personal and professional life in six months. As William Shakespeare once said, defer no time. Delays have dangerous ends. Take action now and see the benefits of being part of a supportive community firsthand. We look forward to welcoming you to the next Opportunity Window community. Looking forward to seeing you at the next challenge, at the next webinar, at the next Lunch and Learn, and at the next Mastermind. Let's go and let's get it. Now, in the United States, many people adopt an individualist take on this with a lack of time or knowledge. And you left with millions of people spending money on things that they once would have either made themselves or bothered within their community. Here are a few ways that DIY or bothering might play out in your life. Instead of buying a new outfit for a one-time event, ask a friend if you could borrow something from their closet instead. Instead of buying a tool set for a one-time project, borrow what you need from a homeowner you know who probably already has everything you need sitting in their garage. Instead of paying top dollar for a specific piece of furniture, for example, you're looking for a white table to fit into your living room, buy a regular wooden table secondhand and paint it white with a five out of can of spray paint. However, keep in mind when it comes to DIY that you shouldn't plan to do anything that's beyond your skill set. While there are some fantastic YouTube videos demonstrating how to do just about anything, I mean, I call it YouTube, YouTube University, because you can find any, just about anything on YouTube. There is sometimes still a learning curve that you have to contend with though. For example, if you're trying to change the brakes in your car, make sure that you have someone there to help and make sure you are you're not making things worse. Even if that means video chatting with a relative or friend of a friend. Today's challenge is to think of something you want or need and look into e look into either DIYing or borrowing it from a friend. Report back to the group. For some reason, many people have admitted a fear of returning items to a store or deciding against buying a product they bring to the register. If an item rains up as more than you expected, simply say, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to pass on buying that today. Thank you. It's an extremely common thing that cashiers deal with and no one will judge you for deciding to put an item back. For many people, returning an item makes them feel embarrassed or ashamed, but it shouldn't if you bring an item home with you, but realize that you have no use for it. Don't hesitate to return it for a refund. Businesses prepare for this scenario and have returns planned into their budget too, especially big box stores. If you someone who feels uncomfortable with either one of these situations, today's challenge is to practice by either returning something you brought or bringing an item to the register and deciding against purchasing it. While it might seem like an inconvenience, it is truly only a minor inconvenience that will help build up your confidence moving forward.
It takes three to four months to get the hang of sticking to a new budget. So if you mess up a little bit, that's totally okay. Today's challenge is to share with the group something that you split slip up on while participating in this budget challenge. Whether it's spending a little too much cash on a pair of shoes or overextending your credit to participate in happy hour with friends. Share one thing that you haven't done perfectly. In addition to this, think about where you're going right on your journey towards learning to budget better. Maybe you suggested a game night in a potluck with friends. Instead of spending money going out for dinner and a movie, maybe you recently discovered a new favorite supermarket that saves you money on your grocery bill. Whatever it is, Share your revelation with the group too. We would love to know what you came up with. So I would like to say congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, 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 congratulations. You officially completed the budget better challenge. I am so happy. I'm so happy for you. You made it to the end. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you for participating Thank you for being on. Thank you for taking the challenge with me. And I would like to say now that we spend this time together, I'd love to hear from you about what you learned and what was most helpful to you through this process. Are there any tips that you plan to utilize moving forward? Did you learn anything new about yourself and your spending habits? If you need help with financial planning, let's connect. Contact me inside the next opportunity when the community. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I want to hear from you. I'm learn from you. This is why we come on these different challenges, lunch and lunch, webinars, masterminds, so that we have to hear each other's thoughts, where to share each other's ideas, where to come together and hold each other accountable. This is what we're about. We're about helping each other win. Why? Because we all can win. Thank you again. I appreciate you coming on this challenge and, and with me uh, so that we able to learn and go together. And like I said, that's our time. And like I said, we will see each other inside the community on it, either the next mastermind, lunch and learn, whatever that we got going on. But I will see you at the next session. Take care. And go take action. Go make something happen. Go build something. Don't do something. But go, 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 go. Life is too short. And go make things happen. It's up to you. If nobody else do it, and, and you can wait on it, but I want to handle to let you know. If you don't do it, it won't get done. So go take action. Go take action. Take advantage of the next opportunity window that will come your way. Take care, and I'll see you at the next session.